Hey, what's up kids? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. So this lesson is going to be a little bit different. Um, what we're going to be doing is I am going to be designing something and Shannon is going to be doing the programming. So this should be fun and exciting and a change of pace. And what we're going to be designing today is a contact form. And then once this gets done, I'm going to email it to Shannon and he'll do his magic and make it all lovely. So let's just launch right into it. To start off, I want to just give this a just a simple background color because white is kind of boring to look at. So I'm going to go to a gradient and maybe just grab a E. That's a little bit better. Let's change this to maybe a brighter blue. Something like that. So I have that and then this one looks good. Alright, so I'm going to slide this over. And okay, very nice for a background. Now uh, we're going to create the wrapper for the the contact form, and I'm just going to grab a rounded rectangle, which is this right here, and I'm going to keep the radius uh, on four right here, and I'm just going to draw out a shape that looks looks good to me, and we'll go with something like that, and we can always resize it if we have to. And to center it, I'm going to grab this layer, hold down Alt, or Command, I mean, and click the second layer, and then center it right there, and center it vertically and horizontally, that's the words. And I'm going to double click, and I'm going to make it a light gray color, something like this. Beautiful. Oh, Steven, oh, I amaze myself. I'm going to double click, and I'm going to give it a quick stroke, which is, that sounded weird. I'm going to make it a dark... Let's go with a dark blue. So I'm going to click this, and that's good enough. Now you don't have to match my colors. I'm just going with my own kind of design. Uh, I, I really hope that you don't match my colors. Just have some fun. Come up with something that's creative. So I'm going to click that, click OK, and let's see. Let's, let's make this a little difficult for Shannon to program. Let's, let's add a inside white stroke. So I'm going to do a inner glow, click that change this to normal, bring the opacity to 100, make the color white, and then choke all the way up 100%, and then the size to one pixel. So you can see it's very, very subtle, but um, if I turn it off and back on, you can see it kind of makes the gray pop a little bit. Very nice. So now, a contact form is never finished without an input, because you need to input your name, your email, and your message. So to get an idea for what size I need to make this, I'm going to just type out um, quickly, just going to say name. I'm going to drag this out and just write um, your name. I don't know why that was so difficult to think of. Uh, and to spell. Maybe this is too short. There we go. Okay, float it to the left. And you know, let's let's float up to the right, and then I'm going to scale it inwards. Bring down the size to maybe 14 pixels. Keep it bold. That looks good. All right, so I'm gonna drag this over to I don't know, right over here. And let's zoom in because I don't like working at 100%. I like to zoom in and get out close and personal with it. I'm gonna grab the rounded rectangle again. But this time I'm going to make it two pixels because four just looks a little too round when it's when it's small. So to get an idea, I'm just going to draw uh, a box around this text, something like this, and double click, and we're going to change it to white. And let's drag it over to the side. Looks good. And then down just to center it, the horizontal line to this horizontal of this your name. Cool deal. So I'm going to stylize this a little bit, and let's double click on this. As you can see, if I add a stroke, it's going to be a little bit hard to see if I go to 1 or something, because we have that annoying stroke that's around all vector objects. So to temporarily temporarily hide that, let me just turn off the stroke so you can see what I'm talking about. See it right there. Temporarily hide that, I'm going to click Control H, and you can see it's hidden. So let's add a 1 pixel stroke, and let's maybe grab this dark blue color. 
That's too dark. Let's just make it something like like that, okay? And then these input fields usually have an inner shadow. So we'll do inner shadow, distance of like two, and then bring down the size so it's not so feathered. And then bring down the opacity way down. And let's change the angle to, that's good. Perfect, nice, good job, cool. All right, so very simple. Maybe we gotta make that stroke just slightly darker now. That works. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, let's duplicate this, Command J, and I'm just gonna hide that and drag it down. And we'll work with that later. I'm gonna right click this, and you can't really see because it gets cut off, but I'm going to click right here, Convert to Smart Object. Now I can hold down uh, Command, select your name and that input field, hold down Command and Shift and drag it down. Now the reason I made it a smart object is, let's say I want to change that stroke color again. And if you have a lot of input fields, it's going to be annoying to change the stroke on all of them. So I'm going to double click this, and I can just change it right here, like I normally would. So let's go slightly lighter, click OK. And when I save this, you can see it's going to update and you can't really see because it was so slight. But take my word for it, it updated both of these input fields. Very cool. All right, so now that we have that, we can zoom back out and see what we're working with. Um, let's grab this one that we duplicated. I'm going to drag it right to the top again. And then I'm going to duplicate your name. And then turn this so it appears, and I'm going to drag it down. And the reason I didn't make this a smart object is because I want it to be different because it's going to change sizes. So I'm going to select it, hold down shift, and drag it out. That's nah, not working. Hold down shift and drag it out. There we go. Select the bottom row, hold down shift and drag it out. And now I want that to be bigger because it's it's your message and you should probably leave me long messages just to entertain me. So I'm going to drag down your name, the second duplicate that we have. And let's write, um, so it, let's make sure it floats to the left. Line it up here. And let's just say something like, uh, what's on your mind? And then click the check mark. Wait for it to load. Bring it up. Looking good. Now I'm going to select both of those. And just space this a little bit better. Something like that. So now we have the basic layout of the contact form. All we need is a way to submit it. So let's create a quick submit button. So what I'm going to do is um, click your name. I'm going to drag it to the top and then drag it down. And let's just edit that and have it say submit. And let's center it. Now again, to get the correct proportions with a, uh, with a button size, I'm just going to draw right over it like this. Cool, cool deal. And let's grab maybe a dark blue. This is this is the hardest part. Hard to decide what color blue to go with. Okay, good enough. And then I'm going to change this font color to white. And then double click on our blue shape layer and let's just decorate it nicely. Um, <clears throat> let's give it a quick stroke. Again, sounded very awkward. I'm going to click Control H to hide that, to hide the border that comes around it. And then on stroke, I'm clicking this color. And I'm just going to click this background blue. Click OK. And let's do a drop shadow. And distance, I'll have like three. Spread will be 100. Size will maybe one. Just so it kind of looks like it's popping out of the page a little bit. And then let's do a bevel and emboss. And you've seen this trick before if you watch my button creating tutorial. If not, um, this is going to be something pretty cool. So I want to add a slight gloss to the top. So to do that, I lower down the shadow. And you can mess with this highlight. And then I change the size to zero. And you can see it's very slightly up top there. Click OK. And that's looking, well, 
Let's see if we want negative 90. Uh, that didn't mess up. That messed up. Hold on. 90. Take off. Use global lighting. Negative 90. Nope. That looks ugly. Let's just stick with 90. Good enough. Let's add a drop shadow to this submit button. Drop shadow. Distance of 1 and size of 0. And there you go. Very slight drop shadow. And now if you remember, we center this text, but the box that's surrounding it is a little off. So I'm just going to fix that. And it's correctly centered. Um, that looks good. Zoom out. And let's just let's clean this up a little bit so Shannon does not have a problem with programming this and finding well, finding out what our layers do. So let's just name this button. And then let's select both, group it, and we'll name this um, button-submit. And then we'll name this input. Group this together as um, message input. Then we'll name this input as well. Input. And then let's group this together. Group. Or let's just group all four together. And name that um, <coughs> name it. Info inputs. Inputs. I don't think that's a word. Um, let's change this to your email. Very nice. Now our box is a little long, so I'm going to click the bottom here, and you can see it selects the layer. I'm going to select these bottom points, and I'm going to hold down shift and drag up. The submit button, I'm going to realign it to the right, like that. And this box is still a little long, so I'm going to select the bottom and just drag it up. And name this uh, wrapper. Let's select everything and just drag it. And then at the top, let's be fancy and do a cool title. A title that says, like, um, um, send me a compliment. And then make sure it's not aligned to the right. Just align it to the left. And let's cool, select a cool font, like ballpark. Scale it up large, and that's it's not very cool. But we're going to leave it. Let's select a blue color something dark like that and then let's make it fancy by making it slightly larger maybe 30 double click here and we're gonna do a drop shadow but rather than a drop shadow uh, it's gonna be like a gloss so one distance spread all the way up size 0 change this to normal color of white and that looks good enough I don't even know if he's gonna program this in I'm just gonna throw it here just in case, we'll see how amb uh, ambitious he is. So again, let's center this. And there we go. That's all there is to it, to our contact form. Can't wait to see how he spins this around and makes it actually working. So thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the second part. See you later.